What's up, guys? Iceman here. Welcome to Diablo 4 talk. So, that Spirit Born class was just showcased yesterday. I watched most of that live stream, reacted to it, this and that, posted it on my channel. I quit before the questionnaire. Was it just me? Or was that boring as a freaking toad? Is it just me? Or is that class bullshit? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Messing with you guys just a little bit. But let me be 100 with you. Some are saying that the Spiritborn class is kind of a lazy effort. Now, I know a lot of us were asking for the return of the Paladin, right? Or the return of the Amazon, preferably not an M. Manazon. Have you seen what they did to him in D2R? Yeah, preferably not a Manazon, but an Amazon. The one from LOD back in the day. The original one. Look at the original art. That, that's the one I'm talking about. Return of the Amazon. I mean, I was being optimistic. I was thinking to myself, yeah, Ice Boy. Yeah, this Spiritborn class, yeah, they're going to have, like, the Javelins. It's going to be, like, a new weapon type. I mean, we're paying how much for this expansion? I haven't paid for it yet. I refuse to give them my money. This early on. But I'm going to give them my money. But I have a Diablo 4 channel, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to buy the damn thing. But I'm going to wait until the last minute. Because I don't think they deserve to take our money from this when this is pretty much the beginning of Diablo 4. Is kind of what it feels like. I don't even know if it's there yet. I mean, as I mentioned before, I am going to take the spiritual journey for season five, all right? So you guys stay tuned for that. No guides, no icy veins, no max roll, none of that bullshit. Yeah, that's right. Just Professor Istak. Living out the research. It's going to be a good time. I'm going to make a droid. They have that new weapon. It's a staff where one of your swatting skills actually causes the lightning strike skill to happen. So it's like you're swatting them with your claw... And I think every SWAT, a lightning strike comes out of the air or something. Comes out of the sky. So. But it's not really going to be like what the original lightning druid was. According to my theorizing. Because the original is the one that I played when Diablo first released. Diablo 4. I played a lightning strike druid, right? Where they really sucked big you know what then. They had major resource problems. But he'd stand there with his staff out and just... He'd just stand there. And just lightning would come out of the sky. And just go... It, it, it was random. It'd go on the enemies around him, in front of him, and it'd go everywhere. And that's going to be different. Because this one, it's like one paw, one lightning. One paw, one lightning. One paw, one lightning. To my understanding. Unless if it's going to be one paw, one lightning. One paw, two lightnings. One paw, three lightnings. You know what I mean? Because that's uh, kind of how Lightning Strike was. It was a channeling skill. But if you stand still and just keep on them, is it just going to... Is it going to build up? Like, Because that was the fun part about it. Come to think of it, it was how it would build up. 
You'd sit there and hold it and it just, it'd be one lightning, one lightning, two lightning, two lightning, three lightning, four lightning, five lightning. It'd be lightnings everywhere. Dog. Do you guys know if that's how it's going to be? I don't really feel like going through all that boon bullshit. Finding the boons here. Going here, doing this, that, and the third. Getting all those damn boons. It's just weird. All of a sudden, they're just gone. Once you find them all or whatever. It's just, just popping everywhere. Probably going to make it easy, though. Aren't they making it all easy? Aren't they uh, Aren't they making it really easy to get 100? Are we going to get there in like 10 minutes now? Or how, 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 how fast are we going to be able to get to 100? Do you guys have any idea? Let me know in the comments below. But for the Spiritborn class, I was hoping in Diablo 2, one of my favorite parts, I remember this, was playing the game in like 2007 or something. Right? This is around 2007. Probably 2006. Hell yeah. I mean, I played that game since release. But I took a couple breaks. That's just how it would go. You take a couple breaks, then you go back, and then they release the whole patch with the rune words. And synergies and all that. So you come back, right? Like, I've been playing Diablo since Diablo 1. I was a little duck-billed platypus. I was looking over my dog's shoulder, my homie. Not my dog. Hey, sweetie. Look at this. Look at those teeth. <laughs> That's my dog. Yeah, good German Shepherd. Yep. He's a good baby. Could have been trained a little better, I suppose. Isn't that right, Zazu? Give me a kiss. See that? He gives kisses. Give me a kiss. Ooh, why are you scared? She's timid, but... You guys see where I'm going with this? You tracking with me? I would look over my boy's shoulder, and I saw him playing on that square screen. Playing as the warrior. Skeleton shattering. Just the sound effects in that game. You enter the dungeon. I'm saying like do they even have anything that's recognizable like that anymore who the fuck is making this game god damn they got a bunch of furries making this bullshit it would almost make sense because the spiritborn class now you do something with like a gorilla or some shit like this gorilla comes out of the sky and he like <laughs> he pounds the crown and there's like shock waves and shit all over the place. I'm sorry, doggy. Did I scare you? Did I scare you, doggy? I didn't mean to do that. But anyway. No, she ain't scared. She just might be getting excited is all. <laughs> she ain't scared. She knows there's not to be scared of a daddy. Her punishments are pretty weak. She tell the garbage can. We scold her. Make her go in the bathroom. We lock her in there. <clears throat> between one to ten minutes depending but then they got the uh, eagle where the eagle comes out of the sky uh that one actually looks kind of cool the eagle comes out of the sky and then lightning and shit comes up when it when it shoots back up and then uh i think you can do that twice actually they say it's like uh, a new ultimate where it has charges you know what i'm saying so the eagle looks okay and then they got the, uh, they got that centipede. I'm not much of a bugs, personally. Some of you guys say that it looks like a big you-know-what coming out of the ground, and then, pss, you know? I honestly didn't think of that until somebody pointed it out. And now it kind of grosses me out. I can't really unsee it. But, I mean, fortunately, I wasn't really planning on... I mean, I don't know if I'm planning on playing this character at all. They got a staff. 
it's like the um, it's like the monk from Diablo Hellfire, who was made by Sierra, wasn't even made by Blizzard. The one and only expansion for Diablo One. I played through it. It was okay. I mean, for today's standards, it was great. You know what the fuck is this bullshit? Is it Path of Exile? Did you see that thing that they have? They they released the trailer the same day that the uh, that the that the Spiritborn thing was live. A couple hours later, or something. The Path of Exile guys they released this trailer of it's like an hour and a half or something. And it's all this shit that they're doing. Melee reamped, new weapons, new areas, new this, that, and a third, new little hubs in this, all this shit. And um you got like ships, like you can get your own ship or something. You could go around in the ship, you know, everybody wants their own ship. You know what I'm saying? You're telling me they're doing all this for free? We even gotta buy that? And then Diablo, they're like, oh, we're gonna charge you how much? Like a hundred dollars for this Spiritborn bullshit? For a game that ain't even fleshed out? What the fuck's going on here? You know, I wanted the jab the Javazan. She throws her javelin. And again, she was a she back in the day, all right? We're talking pre-D2R D2, uh, D2 tar, uh, D2R era. He was a chick. And uh, she throws her javelin. And it hits the monster. And boom, boom, boom. Just that. You just feel so powerful. And then you can modify it. You can get gear that adds to pierce, right? You can get razor tail that gives 33% chance to pierce. So about one in three of your javelins, it goes, it, it hits an enemy and it blows up. And then it goes through that enemy. And then it hits another one and it blows up again. Why don't we see any shit like that here? God damn. Is Pierce even a thing in Diablo 4? But anyway, are you guys going to play the Spiritborn class? Let me know in the comments below. This must be the best they got because, you know, they, they know that the Path of Exile 2 is coming out later this year. They know Last Epoch has been making waves, right? So you'd think they'd stir it up a little bit. They'd be like, all right, we got to really do something big here. I mean, here's probably one of the biggest problems as well. Well, the biggest problems are probably the fundamental shit, but... We're watching them go through the game, and doesn't all those monsters look the same? And there's like a new boss, and then the boss is just like, they do the same shit that the old bosses do. It looks like that Blood Maiden. It's like that Blood Maiden, only like there's one of them. Then you like kill it, and then another one spawns or something. It's like that damn Blood Maiden in the health. It's like they're just copy-pasting their old shit, and they're just putting it in the jungle or something. <laughs> Oh, god damn. I'm not even going to play a campaign. No, I'm just going to jump into adventure mode. I mean, what kind of a story is this anyway? It all feels the same. You know, it's all just all at once meshed together. It's like there's no theme and shit. Like Diablo 2 had the theme. You go into the desert in Act 2. You ride a camel around and shit. No, you didn't really ride a camel around, but, you know, it's that sort of aesthetic and environment. You go buy a gyro at the little uh, at the little shack. Everybody all decked out in robes and shit because it's hot as fuck and there's sand blowing in your eyes, you know. It was thematic. Then you go to the snow-ass place, a bunch of Nords and shit. All trying to keep over the fire, stay warm. You know, it was like, it was, uh, it was like, there's like variety. But then with this, they're like, well, variety, we can't do that because this is modern times or something. Because we got to be, uh, because variety is like sexism and racism and all that shit or whatever. So we just got to have it be everything all at once all the time. You know? 
and there's no like going here so you can experience this going here so you can, no let's just give it all to them all the time all the same all that uh, everything all mixed together and you're like god damn this game feels the same no matter what i'm doing Isn't that kind of what it's like? I mean, I'm going to play. I was looking forward to it. I'm a little less looking forward to it now that I have seen this whole, they're like, that thing, that penalty. Like, these guys are just sitting around. Oh, the lore, this and that. Like, we just want to, I want to see the gameplay. I want to see the, the items. I want to hear something about trade. You know, where's the auction house? <laughs> I know you guys don't want the auction house, but I mean, I kind of want the auction house. You know, where's the more tabs in the inventory? Where's the more, where's the augmenting of you know, our skills so that we don't just, there's not just like three options per skill. Let's have, what about like five options or something or 10 options? But no, 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 no. We're just going to talk about like the story or something. I never think about the story when I'm playing Diablo. When I'm playing Diablo 2, I'm not thinking about the story. I'm thinking about, I'm going to go to the Trab and try to find a J rune. I'm thinking about, I'm going to go run Bell, try to find unique Shaco. I'm thinking I'm going to go to the pit because it's a little easier, but you can still potentially drop the highest tier items in the game. I don't know. I'm not really thinking about, oh yeah, Akara did this bullshit before he made it here and this and that. And Charcy, he's a good blacksmith and this is his backstory. I'm not really thinking about that bullshit. You know, like we're sitting here talking about this story for like 50 goddamn minutes. Is that how long this thing was? Holy shit. Like, I just want to go blast, you know? Want to be immersed a little bit? Want to go out there and blast, but... What do you guys think about this whole Spiritborne thing and uh, what what they have like for the expansion? Like, is this what you were hoping for? I mean, we're really gonna pay for this? How much we gotta pay for it again? Like, I, I was thinking about buying the hundred dollar one just because I mean, I got a damn channel called Diablo Four. What's the cheapest you could get? Is it sixty? Do you guys know? Can, you guys, can somebody let me know in the comments? Is it 40 bucks? Is that the cheapest you can get? What the hell are we buying? God damn. Like, I, I'm going to be playing some of that Path of Exile. I'm going to go no guides. Uh, the two, the second one when it comes out later this year. All right, so follow my other channel. I mean, I might post a video here too. Fuck it. Also follow my meditations channel. Philosophy and shit. It's called Meditations by Iceman, I think. 350 subs. Starting to blow up. So follow that if you guys want. Like this video. Subscribe to this page. Hit the bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace be with you and blessings to my patrons. Links in the description below. Thank you for supporting the research. If you want to become a patron, linked in the description below. And may you have many wives. Those who support me on Patreon. Peace be with you.